Zap it, zap it, zap it all off. Woo! So I just finished working out and I'm about to hop in the shower, but my laser appointment is tomorrow and you are supposed to shave prior to your laser appointment. Um, at least like I think 24 to 48 hours in advance of your appointment. So I'm going to get in the shower and shave. So this will be the only time, the only time you guys will ever see my armpits not shaved, but I wanted to grow them out in order to shave for the laser treatment. Um, usually they are bare. Not to say that it's not okay if yours are not bare or people's are not bare, but mine are typically waxed. Um, but like I said, I was transitioning to laser treatment, so I had to grow it out after my last wax um, in order to shave it. So this is what, oh wow, hold on, it. can you even see anything? Oh yeah, there we go. Look at that quality, wow. Um, so you can see there's there's little, there's little, little sprouts, little sprouts. Um, so I'm going to shave those bad boys. Oh, this one's darker for some reason. Maybe it's the angle. No, no, it's just darker. So I am going to shave those down. <laughs> and then we are off to get laser treatment. So yeah, super exciting. Um, I won't take you guys into the shower with me, but I think I got it from here. So I will check in with you guys tomorrow. Hey lovies, so it is the morning of my laser appointment and I'm getting ready to head into the city to get it done. So before doing so, I just wanted to share with you guys my outfit deets. Um, somebody asked me in the last video about my outfit and where everything was from, so I'm just going to run through it really quickly. So I just have a simple black turtleneck on um, from Zara. I have some cute little um, kind of crop ankle jeans. These are like my favorite jeans. I love the way they fit, love the way my booty looks, um, and I love the kind of hugging of the curves and everything, um, and black booties. So my jeans and my booties are from Fashion Nova. So that is my outfit, and we're getting ready to head out, so let's go do this thing. Can we also just appreciate my makeup really quickly? Like, whoa, what was I on today? This is looking amazing in this lighting, woo. I'm on my way to Sev Laser in New York City. So a little bit about how I got to this point of getting laser hair removal. So ever since even, you know, beginning to get body hair and puberty and all of that everywhere, underarms, bikini, wherever, you know, wherever your choice of hair removal is. Um, mine is my underarms and my bikini area. So ever since then, I've always just shaved, you know, like that's typically what you first learn to do is, you know, shave off the hair that you don't want in areas that you don't want hair um but you know shaving has its own ups and downs and me shaving was always just like very irritating i hate when it's growing in and it's itchy um i hate stubble i hate how frequently you have to do it in order to keep smooth skin so and honestly i'm just not a very like proactive person i'm lazy i don't want to do something every day to have smooth skin so about in college is when i learned about like waxing and alternative methods so i started waxing so back in the day european wax center was recommended to me so i went i had a good experience you know getting my i think um bikini area waxed and i've honestly been going ever since so i've been going to european wax center for about five to six years i've moved like three times in between those years and i've always been able to find a european and wax center location wherever I was so that's the great thing is that they're everywhere um there's a lot of availability for appointments they wax almost freaking everything on your body so it's just a good alternative if you need something waxed and you want it done quickly the thing about European wax center like any other establishment or customer service business is that sometimes it's a very hit or miss experience I've had very good experiences at European wax center I've had very poor experiences and it's a mix of things and I I honestly don't even pay as much mind to the customer service um, as I do the actual skill of the waxing specialist. I've encountered a few different wax specialists at different locations um, of European wax centers that just 
didn't seem like they knew what they were doing. And when you're talking about waxing hair, body hair from sensitive areas of your body, you want someone who knows what they're doing and that treats it delicately <laughs> um, because these areas are sensitive, very sensitive. So I just didn't always feel like I had the best experience, but it's always got the job done. So I've stuck with it. I typically wax every like four to six weeks, um, give or take and more so event-based. So if I'm going on vacation or knowing I'm going to be somewhere in a bathing suit, then you know I'll schedule an appointment rather than keeping a repeated schedule. Waxing has always worked well for me. Um, I've stuck with doing my bikini area. Um, I do my underarms and sometimes I even do my lip. I do my lip myself. I have my own waxing kit at home that I wax my lip. It's very sensitive. My face is very sensitive. Um, it peels sometimes. It'll scab if I'm not delicate with it. So I don't trust other people with it. I touch my face. So how lasering came about was basically that I'm sick of waxing and I just wanted something a little bit more um, long term and less frequent. And I've heard about laser hair removal, you know, I feel like we see it a lot, we see it on social media, we see a lot of people get it. Um, and it was also recommended to me from my sister. So I found Sev Laser on Groupon. They had a really good deal going on um, where you get like multiple areas at a very good rate. It's a steal and I couldn't pass it up and I've heard really good things about Sev Laser. I see them a lot on Instagram and social media. So I figured I'd just give it a try. So that's kind of how I I got to this lasering aspect and I'm just super excited like to give it a try I love trying new things I love like self-care and body hair all of that stuff so I'm really excited for you guys to join me on this experience and let's see firsthand what laser hair removal is hitting for and you know if it works and if it's something that I'll continue or if I'm just gonna go back to waxing I'm not you know super sold on laser yet so I'm really excited to just see what the results are you know over these six sessions and see what works best for me my schedule my body and to share that with you guys so let's check out sev laser in new york city all right guys i'm here in the city um here at sev laser so here's the place you see This is the laser machine. Okay. All right, so you're gonna lay it back. How does it feel? It feels good. <laughs> yeah. Not uncomfortable, right? No, not at all. Like I feel it, but it's not it's like bad. It's bearable. Yeah, it's bearable. Yeah, it's bearable for sure. So we're gonna switch now, okay? Okay. There we go. How do you know that you're getting everything if there's no hair there. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? Yeah, so this is a skin that um, show instant signs of any kind of redness. And I usually just monitor where the um, light is. Yeah, where the light is. And it lights to actually overlap each other like a limpet ring. Mm -hmm. Just so we can get each hair follicle. Right. Now, when I do other areas, like Brazilian larger areas, um, you outline it. So that's how we know what areas are covered. Mm -hmm. 
my thoughts it was super quick you guys my entire visit was probably eight minutes long um that's including both underarms and my entire brazilian bikini area super quick it didn't really feel like anything like it's really hard to describe the laser had a like an air blowing um part of the device where it's blowing cool air on you as the, it's lasering your skin i guess to kind of um cool it down and make it not as as bad or painful but you do feel things but it's just bearable like it's not that bad like i just felt like i was feeling the hairs just get like zapped like zip, 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 zip. um but it was it wasn't bad it was just like mm, like i feel it but I, it doesn't make me want to flinch like it's tolerable um so i thought it was super good what i was gonna say let me ask you some questions and you answer okay so tay wants to ask me questions so my sister's here she also does lasering at sev laser so she just wants to share some thoughts and ask me some questions so shoot so how did that compare to waxing Ooh, good question it was much quicker than waxing so the laser treatment is by far much quicker than waxing waxing is also very painful <laughs> anybody who says it's not is lying the thing about waxing is you become kind of like a pro at it right like the more you go the more frequently you wax the more you anticipate the pain and you kind of figure out how to cope with it while it's happening but especially the bikini area for waxing it is no walk in the park at all so this was much more tolerable um much less painful and the pain that does exist or you know any type of uncomfortable sensation with lasering is just so much shorter than waxing that overall i just thought um lasering was a lot more bearable than waxing and what was the price comparison between both okay so price I'm always one to touch on the topic of cost and price in every aspect because not enough people do so when I was waxing I would spend probably what like $500 damn near on a waxing pass at European wax center which would give me like I think 10 to 12 waxes so maybe a year's worth um give or take so five hundred dollars we'll say for a year maybe a shy of a year of waxing granted that's only one body part so that five hundred dollars was only for my brazilian waxing um so that didn't include underarms that doesn't include my lip my legs nothing um so i guess if you compare it to lasering my sev laser groupon was i think a little under 200 dollars and i'm getting my underarms and my brazilian done um and i got six sessions which she said will last me about six to seven months so i guess if you just double that cost theoretically although you're not able to get uh two groupons but just say it's somewhere in the ballpark of 200 300 dollars um that it would probably work itself out to being a very comparable cost to waxing the difference is is waxing is a continuous maintenance of a monthly wax or you know every four to five weeks wax if you become um, a pro at waxing and your hair gets really fine the lady at Sev laser told me that after about a year of laser that you will only have to go about once to twice a year so I guess what I'm trying to say is that in the long term scheme of things in the bigger picture laser seems like it is going to be the more affordable the more cost efficient route both pricey investments you know healthcare, body image um these are these are costs like they're not cheap costs either but the thing is that i'm trying to find a method that works for me that is more convenient and that the maintenance is not as frequent as shaving or waxing and any other questions what are some post-op um things that you should do to maintain your your laser experience yeah so she told me that um for post-op so i'm not supposed to wear deodorants put any type of like creams lotions um on the areas that were treated for 24 to 48 hours i'm also not supposed to work out um get any type of like sweat other than just normal like 
walking down the street I'm kind of breaking a sweat type of thing um not supposed to engage in any like physical activity high sweating um anything like that for 24 to 48 hours as well she said that I can shave as needed so in between this treatment and the next treatment which is going to be in four four to five weeks I'm able to shave as much as I need she said that um, I should anticipate that the hairs are going to fall out as they grow out you know like they're gonna fall out of their follicle and that you need to exfoliate 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 whether you're getting laser treatment or not even if you're just showering exfoliate your skin you guys like help those dead layers of skin come off a little easier um not too rough though so another thing that she told me is that with each visit the frequency of the laser is going to increase so basically at each visit that I go to I might feel it a little bit more because I guess there's gonna be more power in that laser so the pain might be more um, more noticeable at every future visit so she told me to make sure kind of like I'm assessing whether or not I'm able to tolerate it because if you're not then that might be your skin telling you that you need to go down like go down a frequency like don't force it um, so that was another important note also I will say a specific to Sev laser that their appointments book up really really fast and really far in advance so um me trying to schedule my future appointments was pretty difficult so you know they're a busy place they're a popular place they have a lot of traffic so just be mindful that the effectiveness of a lot of these laser treatments are dependent on how frequently you go in the beginning so because i'm a newbie to lasering I have to get a treatment every four weeks, five weeks, six weeks max. So you don't want to miss those six weeks and not go for two to three months and then try to pick up where you left off and think that you're going to get the same results. You're kind of starting from the beginning again. You're starting from scratch. So you want to make sure you book out your all of your appointments if need be in advance or that you go to a place that has a lot of availability or you personally have a lot of availability to make sure that you can stay, stay consistent in the beginning to complete kind of like the treatments in the beginning that you need to to kind of just get to the point where you just need maintenance. So this is obviously just my experience and I'm a first timer um, overall. I thought it was really great. I am a black woman. I do have, you know, melanated skin. I do have dark hyperpigmented areas on my skin. So I was very hesitant and skeptical about laser treatment and specifically going to a place that I felt was reputable, legitimate, that had good training um, for my skin. My skin is very sensitive. I'm very like particular with my skin. Um, I don't know if you guys watch my skin uh, routine care video, but you see that I put a lot of work into good skin and maintaining healthy skin. So I'm not just going pulling up to any type of laser spot, some, you know, Joe Schmo spot in the cut and being like, hey, laser my body. Like, no. So from my experience working in dermatology, I know that there are specific lasers, specific treatments that aren't always the best for melanated skin or darker skin tones. So just be mindful of that and be sure to consult with your esthetician, with your dermatologist. If you are considering laser treatments or dermatological treatments that could affect the shade and tone of your skin, you want to be sure that um, you're getting the proper treatment. So I'll, obviously this is all from my personal experience. I will definitely create a follow-up video in you, for you guys in a few months to see, you know, the progress as the treatments continue. Um, but for now, that was my first laser hair removal experience at Seth Laser in New York City. And I highly recommend. So check them out. And I think that's about it. So leave me a comment below if you have any questions or recommendations or anything about this video that you would like to know. Um, be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.